so I've been single for about a good six, six, uh, six and a half years or so. But I came across this video here. I actually found this through uh, social media. I actually play it um, a couple times just to really figure out what was going on. <laughs> Basically what this video is about is a couple, a younger couple, they look like they're in their early 20s or I say about 2021 20, maybe, I don't know for sure. They are both cute and handsome, so but it seems to be a, a, a little bit of a dating issue between the two, but I'll go ahead and play the video and um, you tell me what you think. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hold my opinion after it. That kind of blew me away when I heard what the uh, the third lady said on the laptop video. Be honest and tell me that you're cheating on me. <sighs> is that how we're gonna start this off? Yeah, that is it. We haven't talked about it yet. I didn't cheat on you. I know that you did. How do you know this? Because the girl you cheated with, I paid her 50 bucks to hit on you. Why would you pay a girl to talk to me? That's some crazy You are giving off horrible energy and it had a series of events leading up to that. That's what do you mean? You're over there liking all these It's yeah. for work. It's innocent flirting that helped me get clients to I am denying because it it's not true. It, okay, sure. She's a client and after we were working out, we got food, which was across the street. That's where not we what walked. she told me. That's what I'm telling she you. She told me you guys had sex. I'm telling you we didn't. So are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out from her. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Paula. Can you tell him what you told me? So I pretty much told her that you took me to this really fancy restaurant and afterwards we went back to my place and hooked up. And that he came on to you in the car and you guys were kissing? Yes. Yeah, see? Why Thanks. would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling Wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. We're oh my God. Clearly, she doesn't value the faithful, amazing man that you are. I thought, you know, maybe I have a chance because- So you thought you had a chance with him, so you're trying to homewreck us so that you can be with him? Wow. Thanks. <laughs> she lied to my face. And what have I been saying? All right, well. I'm sorry for doing that and making it go that far instead of talking to you about it. When I feel like someone's pulling away, I'll just pull. Wow. So you have a third wheel that home wrecked the whole situation. Now, obviously the lady paid like $50 to get her to have the guy cheat or whatever it is. <laughs> You basically have a home record. She slams the laptop down and now she's all mad and whatever it is. I don't know what exactly what's going on <laughs> or what I have no idea what the history is between the two. When I saw that I was I was completely <laughs> blown away. This pretty much goes to show that you really have to watch the people that you're around. I'm not gonna say it should be you and your partner against the world or fiance or whatever it is, boyfriend, girlfriend. I'm not gonna say all that, but what I'm gonna say is that you really have to stop and talk about what's actually going on. And this is actually something I tried with my, uh, my past ex of uh, about two and a half years. And I'm not gonna really go into detail um, that of which I previously did. Um, some of you may know about, some of you don't. When you pay somebody 50 bucks to get them to, you know, to to, ha to cause your boyfriend or fiance or husband to cheat on you, I don't want to say that's sneaky, but it is kind of dirty to um, pull on your 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 partner like there is a lot of loyal people out there that is willing to commit to just one person and there obviously is a lot of players out there so you really have to pick and choose your allies wisely i guess but if you've been with somebody for some time and you still want to test their loyalty which i really would not recommend doing i've done it I've tested my uh, my past girlfriend's loyalty, and I should have done that. I should have left it alone. So I recommend for net, for my followers to not do that. Listen, it's the it's really the small things that count. It's what matters. A lot of uh, folks will try to tell you that if you really want to keep a relationship and do certain things just to trick them into doing something. My my whole thing is that respect their privacy, respect their space and don't try to be as clingy and 
most of the time you should be fine. Basically respect them for who they, who they are and what they do and they will respect you back. It's basically, like I said before, it's earned, not given. And when both respect each other with that same level, there shouldn't be an issue. Now I digress about that because obviously there's open relationships, but, or I mean, should I say you have open relationships where you still have the chance to see other people and do whatever, friends with benefits, the whole nine yards. But when it comes to loyalty and when it comes to trust and respect is garnered from that, which, you know, which is basically, um, which, uh, which is basically also commitment. When you have that loyalty, you know, everything, you, know, you don't you don't question the person that you're with you don't question that the, the people that you're around it's not just you know your partners it's also your friends your family the whole nine you know respect is huge when it comes to that sort of thing i don't know what do you think i want i want to know you guys comments drop them below and i will see you guys in the next video